today in the Diocese of Massachusetts and those of a few other states, we are celebrating the Feast of the Assumption. In dioceses where you live, it may be celebrated on Sunday. But in these days before Pentecost, I am pleased to be with you and wish you well on behalf of the Holy Cross Jesuit community and the college chaplains. I am Father Phil Burroughs, the president of the college, and I welcome you to this reflection on today's gospel. Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. It is a fortuitous coincidence that the Feast of the Ascension coincides with what would have been this year's baccalaureate mass. Fortuitous because I believe that this feast provides us with an important lens for understanding the significance of what we would have been celebrating on campus today were it not for the pandemic which has gripped our world. Let me address the meaning of the feast first and then describe how it gives a unique way of understanding the significance of this season of commencement. For Jesus' disciples, his ascension into heaven, 40 days after his resurrection, must have been tinged with sadness. They had suffered through the disillusionment of Jesus' brutal crucifixion and the end of their hopes for his leadership as they understood it. But within a few days, Jesus' followers begin to report encounters with the resurrected Christ. They were amazed and puzzled by these encounters. But even before they could really begin to grasp their meaning, Jesus leaves them once again and ascends into heaven. With the sending of the Holy Spirit ten days later on Pentecost, Jesus' disciples begin to realize that it is now their responsibility to take on his ministry. In so doing, the truth Jesus preached and the healing love he shared would continue. The disciples are strengthened by the Holy Spirit to embrace their mission to live as Jesus lived, to serve as he served, and to give their lives for others as he did. The ascension then marks the beginning of their adulthood as disciples and apostles. Jesus had to leave them so that they would take their rightful place in his plan for the salvation of the world. And so it is for our seniors as well. Although they physically left campus two months ago, daily they have continued to be in virtual contact with the campus community. But now, with their graduation, it is time for them to leave the security of Mount St. James and their sustained interaction with friends in classes and clubs, the routine mentorship of faculty, and the regular support of chaplains, coaches, and staffs that they have known for four years here. With the granting of their degrees tomorrow, it is time for our seniors to commence a new season of life as alumni of the College of the Holy Cross, in order to share with the world the education they have received, their call to live ethically in a time when trust is so badly eroded, and their mission to live a spirituality of compassion and justice. It is now their work to care for our common home, to walk with the forgotten and underserved, and to heal the wounds of those who have been belittled, victimized, or oppressed. For our graduates, the sadness of leaving Holy Cross hopefully gives way to a sense of mission and purpose, carrying the blessings of an education and a formation which has prepared them to engage our world meaningfully and with hope. Yes, like all of us, our new graduates will need the guidance and wisdom of the Holy Spirit to discern how to act, when to speak, and how to pray when more discernment is needed. But as Jesus says to his disciples in today's gospel, just before he ascended into heaven, he also says to our graduates, Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Jesus is with us in these devastating days as people of all ages are dying and first responders are moved to care for them and for us. 
Jesus is with us when summer internships disappear and job prospects are uncertain. Jesus is with us when we return home and experience the blessings and the challenges of living in family units again. And Jesus is with us when in confusion and in sorrow, we turn to him for healing and courage. Hopefully our graduates and we, their companions on Mount St. James, know that Jesus not only continually walks with us, he also leads us to walk with those who need Jesus' loving presence embodied in us. And finally, no one expressed this more effectively than St. Teresa of Avila when she prayed, God of love, help us to remember that Christ has no body on earth but ours, no hands but ours, no feet but ours. Ours are the eyes to see the needs of the world. Ours are the hands with which to bless everyone now. Ours are the feet with which he is to go about doing good. Today, on this Feast of the Ascension, let us all commit to lives of graced service, living and loving as Jesus did. Amen. And as God's people, let us now take our needs and hopes to the Lord in prayer. In thanksgiving for the remarkable graduates of the College of the Holy Cross, who tomorrow will receive their diplomas, we pray to the Lord. For their parents, families, and generous donors who made their edu education possible, we pray to the Lord. For their faculty, staff, coaches, and chaplains who taught and guided them along the way, let us pray to the Lord. For all those whose lives have been seriously affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, and for those whose generosity and heroism in their care have inspired us, let us pray to the Lord. That this pandemic might end soon, and that its lessons might transform how we live together in human community, let us pray to the Lord. And now for all the hopes and needs you hold in your hearts, let us pray to the Lord. And so together, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless and strengthen us to serve God's people in love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.